Wow, this is really interesting question. We are given to us is a square and a circle, and the length of this purple, green, and red line segment as one five and four centimeter. Exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find radius of this circle. <laughs> Let's check this amazing solution. Let's start by assuming the side length of square as a centimeter, and let's join AE length here and AF length. Let's assume these angles are angle alpha, angle x degrees, and remaining angle as beta degrees. So what we are getting here is alpha plus x plus beta is 90 degree. Now we'll solve the question in two steps. First step we'll find value of x, and second step we'll find the radius. So for well value of x let's consider this triangle dea here da length and ab length are same so what we are doing is we are rotating this triangle by 90 degree and shifting ad length alongside ab length well here this angle is 90 this angle is same as angle d or 90 degree so we can say that F B E dash is a straight line, and where B E dash that's one centimeter, same as D E. As these yellow triangles are congruent, so if E A length is B centimeter, A E length that will also be B centimeter. If you will consider this pink triangle here and this green triangle, now in these triangles we have got side length B and B, we have got another length as five. and this fe dash is also 5 and af is common in both the triangles so by side 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 congruency we can say that this pink triangle is congruent to this green triangle as the triangles are congruent thus by cpct corresponding parts will be equal or this angle x or eaf is equals to angle e dash af or x is equals to alpha plus beta But x plus alpha plus beta is 90, so combining these two equations, we'll get 2x is 90, or x is 45 degrees. So this value x here is 45 degrees. <coughs> Now let's remove this additional figure here. Now if we'll consider this pink triangle again, so in this triangle, if we'll apply by sine rule, extended sine rule, it says that a upon sine a is equals to 2r. so where 2r is the circumcircle radius so for this pink triangle blue radius is the circumcircle and value of a is 5 and this angle is 45 so we'll get 5 upon 45 is equals to 2r and those who are not very comfortable with this extended sine rule so in the end i'll discuss an alternate solution or basically a derivation for this rule which is just 15 seconds job So here, putting the values of sine 45 as 1 by root 2, we get 2r is 5 upon 1 by root 2. R is your 5 root 2 by 2. Or in decimal form, r is 3.54 centimeter, and that's our answer. Now let's see if we are not comfortable in applying this extended sine rule. So for that, what I'm doing is let's draw a diameter here, and let's join f g also. now by angles in the same segment theorem this angle here will be same as 45 degree or this is 45 degree now this eg is the diameter thus angle f that will be 90 degree now in this triangle blue triangle if we'll see sin 45 is 5 upon 2r perpendicular upon hypotenuse So sine 45 is 5 upon 2r, or 2r is 5 upon sine 45. And solving further, you can get the radius of this blue circle. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, Tata. Bye bye.